Hey, what's going on YouTube? Let's start with a really not great takeoff for a bit of long range testing of the DJI O3 air unit. So today I'm flying my Diatone Roma L5 build that I've been testing the DJI O3 air unit for a bit, trying to get it all smoothed out. And as you can see, it's, it's pretty smooth. The outside edges of this video are actually the stabilized video with the Rocksteady. And the center portion is the DVR from the goggles with all the um, Betaflight OSD information. Anyway, just planning on trying to get out a couple miles, kind of see how it performs and everything. Um, kind of chilly this morning. It's about 32 degrees and wind about 10 miles an hour. So not as bad as my previous flight where it was... 20 to 30 mile an hour winds. A couple of things I think are kind of interesting to look at are the top right, I've got my link quality, which you can see is moving a little bit, but nothing, nothing too crazy there. And then my video signal on the bottom right with the HD bars and then the megabits per second. Uh, some interesting things will show up in, in, in both those locations here in just a little bit. So, Another thing just to bring up that I don't know if other people have experienced, but I've noticed I get way more satellite lock-ons and much quicker since one, I updated, you know, the quad with an O3 air unit, but even my Cadex Vistas that I've updated to the new firmware seems to be locking on much faster and getting way more satellites. Um, used to getting eight or nine tops, rarely have gotten more than 10. You can see I have 13 now and I've seen as many as 20, which still just blows my mind. So anyway, just kind of cruising along here and you can see my altitude about 700 feet. So I think this is a spot where you see I start, I'm going down and I'm not sure I was really paying attention, but up here in the top right, the link quality will start dropping a little bit here. Not much, but it'll start fluctuating a little bit the further I'm out, which is just a little over a mile now. So hasn't dropped yet, but I, I know it dropped a little bit while I was flying and I started to climb back up. You have dropped over a hundred feet already. And, and the further I'm out, the, the worse that is because there is a wall of trees I flew over. Uh, there we go. See that dropping 70, dropped down to 74 for a second, 75, back up. Still going down a little bit. And so, yeah. <laughs> Oh, you can see I'm going back up. I realized I was going down. I'm not sure why I didn't even notice that. It's flashing in my face, but while I was flying, uh, it wasn't that obvious to me. And if you look at my megabits, they dropped down 15, 11, 6. Look at that. But look how clear the video still is in my goggles. 4. Um, still crystal clear, no pixelation really or anything. Um, kind, of, kind of surprising, but also um, a good feeling to know you can get out and not have the video just go completely blank on you when it's that low. So you can see I've climbed back up 600 feet, so I'm a little higher, which bringing my link quality back up and my megabits per second back at least into the 20s, which, you know, that's fine. So here we are, 1.7 miles. And my battery's 3.68, and I'm using a lithium-ion battery pack. It's a 2600 4S. So, you know, I'm not worried about getting down this voltage yet. I'll usually take them down about 2.9. I'd like to be landed by then, 2.8 even. So plenty of battery here. So you can see I'm starting to drop my altitude again, and I'll watch how quickly my link quality drops. Um, just plummets quickly there. Um, and I could, I was getting telemetry lost messages constantly look at that. as soon as I turn a little bit and start popping back up look how fast it popped back up now watch my uh, video here on the bottom right it's going red five megabits four three two one uh, two one zero a little bit of pixelation but and it stopped for a second but honestly I didn't even notice that while I was flying it came right back though at two it wasn't except for when it was zero that I that it paused for a second, but even at one, it was completely flyable, which I thought was pretty amazing. Um, hope to never do that again, but I, 
could see it happening in the future. So I do think I could have gone further if I'd stayed higher. I decided not to turn back around and continue, but once my once my altitude got back up there, you know, everything, the link quality is pretty good, uh, video is decent, which just goes to show you that altitude can definitely play a big part in your transmission between you and your FPV drone, something that you should all, you know, pay attention to. Anyway, so then it's just a nice cruise back, nothing too exciting here. Again, you know, nice smooth video, really clear, no, no complaints at all for me with this system at all. And I'm hoping to get to an area where I know the area better and I can fly maybe along a beach or something where I've done my longest flight beginning of this year. I'd like to go back there with this setup or something else with an O3 and just see about flying as far as I can. Uh, maybe much further than than the 5.84, which is the best I've done with a with a original air unit. I'd like to do further than that. And I think what I'd like to do is set it up so I start at a spot and just fly to a end point to land and have someone there ready to pick it up maybe seven miles out uh, just for having someone out at that other end. Uh, here you go, look at that on the top right. My uh, link quality went down a little bit and you know I've dropped down a fair amount. Now I'm popping back up. But those trees you see in the distance uh, not this first set close, but there's another set. I'm just on the other side of those, and I thought they wouldn't be in my way, and, and I think they they kind of are when I'm down a little bit lower. Uh, as I come in here in a little bit, I did notice that there were some more wide-open farm fields where there were no trees at all in my way. So I don't, I'm not going to have a chance to try that out again now because I don't, I'm here visiting but hopefully I'll be back to visit family in the future and then I'll give it another shot, maybe with uh, calmer weather and we'll see how that goes. Anyway, not much more to say on this because I'm just gonna fly in the last 3,500 feet and uh, come in for a landing, but hope you enjoy it and hope my commentary was a little interesting. So I do wanna wish everybody a happy new year. I hope everything is, is great for everybody and everybody has a a great flying um, season coming up this next year or travel or whatever it is you do. Uh, I really appreciate you watching my videos and I hope to do a lot more in this coming year and sharing them with all of you and I hope to see all your videos. Again, like I said, have a happy new year. Everybody take care and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Thank you.